I'm Audrey Johns of Lose Weight by Eating, and I'm here to show you how to make a homemade sugar scrub with just two to four ingredients. You actually get to choose. Um, now we all know that sugar isn't exactly the healthiest thing to put inside of our bodies, but on the outside of our body, it really does help to scrub away dead skin cells. We'll give you more of a toned physique, which we're all looking for, and um, it's really good self-care. So we're gonna take one cup of sugar, just plain old white sugar. Um, I would not use your really good organic sugar in this. Save that for the baking, get the cheap stuff for this. Then we need a quarter cup of coconut oil. Now I really, really love to get um, the virgin organic. Um, I put this on toast in place of butter, um, but it's pretty much whatever you've got. You can also use olive oil, or if you have it, um, avocado oil is really great as well. You just need a quarter cup and I'm just gonna eyeball it. I make this almost every week. It's super easy to do. So we're at almost a quarter cup here. There we go. So a quarter cup. Then we're just going to kind of squish and mix this together to make sure we have enough of our oil. Now, if you're using coconut oil on a cold day, like I am today, it's gonna be really um, thick, kind of like butter, but it will slowly start to come together. If you're using olive oil, it's just gonna be super simple. I recommend starting with whatever you have on hand and making this, and then if you find that you really love to make this on a regular basis, maybe then you go on out and you buy some coconut oil or some avocado oil. We have a kitty here. I think she's gonna come check it out. <laughs> all right, so we've got it almost all together. And now we're gonna add in the optional smells and colors. So I really like to use lavender essential oil. It can be anything you want. It can have no smell to it. It's really whatever you like. Heck, you can even spritz in some of your favorite perfume. So we're gonna do 10 drops. You can do 10 to 15. I also like to mix this with vanilla um, essential oils, and this is totally optional, um, and don't worry, it will not stay in your shower, but I'm gonna put in five drops of purple food coloring. That way it just kinda has a nice, pretty color to it. And we're gonna mix again. Now, I like to use this in the shower after I've done everything. I make sure I keep my hair up too. Um, I have long hair, <laughs> and if I get the coconut oil in it, it kind of goes a little flat on me. But then again, you know, I've already conditioned it at that point. Look how pretty this is. So again, the color is completely optional, and the smell is completely optional. But if we had smell-o-vision here, you'd be able to smell all the wonderful lavender. Now, lavender is great for at night to help you sleep. Um, if you're gonna do this in the morning, maybe you use peppermint. Um, it'll kind of have a nice tingle to it. Or a lemon or really any citrus is nice. Now that we've got it all squished together, see how I'm just pushing down with the back of the spoon? Because we wanna get any lumps out. Oh, this is gonna be so great on our skin. All right, that's it, right? So we have a few different options on how to store this. I really like to use mason jars. I get the little jam jars. They're really fun, but sometimes you don't wanna bring glass into the shower. So this is for gifting. Um, you can also use a plastic BPA-free container, or if you are a Lushy like I am, these large Lush pots, this is my favorite, um, they will hold this entire amount perfectly. Like it'll be to the very top, but if you use the uh, Lush pots at all, these are a great way to reuse. So we're just gonna scoop it in and you wanna kind of scoop and then push down. I just dropped some on my feet, oh darn. Um, you can use this on your body. You can use this on your feet. I love to use this at the end of the night on my hands and feet. I just kind of sit on the edge of the tub and scrub away. Um, you can use it. I keep some in my kitchen because I do wash my hands a lot as a cookbook author. I'm pretty much always hands in water. Look at this, how pretty. And this makes just such a lovely gift. If you happen to have lavender in your garden, you could 
add in a lavender sprig to the top, or you could pull the little lavender flowers off and top, uh, put them in here as well. But here we have it, our homemade sugar scrub. Now all you need for this is one cup of sugar, a quarter cup of whatever oil you choose. I like coconut oil. Olive oil is also good, as is avocado oil. Um, and then optional, you add 10 to 15 drops of your favorite essential oil. And again, optional, five drops of your favorite color. So if it's lavender, maybe purple. If you do mint, maybe do green. You know, you can kind of have fun with it. So here you have it, homemade um, sugar scrub. And at the bottom here, you'll find a link to um, the full recipe, including a printable recipe card and a shopping list for this recipe. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoy this homemade sugar scrub. I do love making beauty products in the kitchen. All right, bye.